Alright, in a previous videos in the Not A series, we've established that Yoshi is not a sidekick and is actually oh, yeah, the true that. hero of the Mario universe. But that was a Yoshi that was a fully grown-up Yoshi, he was an adult. But baby Yoshis, well, they're tiny babies, they're not really useful or strong or anything, right? I mean, look at them, they're tiny, they barely can walk on their own, and they're kind of fat. The thing is, <laughs> yeah. they have so much powers when they're young, powers that they lose growing up, and we're gonna take a look at this today. Baby hey, Yoshi is not I'm Nico, me. and yes, I'm back making those videos. Here are 10 reasons why Baby Yoshi is not a, a weakling. weakling. Okay, then. <laughs> Number 10. Let's start off by comparing Baby Yoshi to Yoshi. When he's finally Yoshi. grown up, Yoshi can eat stuff with his tongue, he can throw eggs, and that's pretty much it. The rest of his powers he gets by eating certain shells. But the thing is, when Yoshi's just a baby, he has way more abilities in his arsenal. I mean, the blue baby Yoshi can blow out bubbles to trap enemies and defend himself. The That's pink cool. baby Yoshi can inflate himself into a giant balloon that floats in the air. This is oh, very yeah. useful That's to cool. escape enemies or to go through large gaps. And finally, when in the dark, yellow baby Yoshi can glow and help everyone see where they're going. Take all of those baby Yoshis together so and they cool make quite abilities. a team. It's just a bummer yeah, 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 that Yoshi loses like all of these abilities when so, he's yeah. growing up. But hey, I guess that's Did what you evolution baby does to you. Yoshi? Did I see that? But she did. <laughs> Number 9. Baby Yoshi is really smaller than adult Yoshi, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a strong appetite for delicious enemies. In the Super really? Mario World TV show, Luigi explains how he met Yoshi as a baby. And oh, as yeah, you can I see, that. it's one heck of a way to meet. Oh, yeah. This baby Yoshi is a true savage. Eat yeah, look, he ate like all like those caterpillars. Look at all the caterpillars he ate in a couple like seconds. Savages. That's insane. His hunger actually has no end, as he even ate Mario. His oh, belly yeah, has no he did end, that's more, insane. I remember that. that baby Yoshi could easily win a hot dog eating contest. Yeah. You go, baby Yoshi, win you those probably medals get the world for me, alright? Alright, number eight. Little baby Yoshis are actually pretty smart, and they know how to have a lot of fun. And that's what we can see in New Super Mario Bros. U. You see this minigame? Well, those baby Yoshi, they make Mario and Luigi play a fun game where they eat up the prize and then they start mixing amongst each other. Then they ask Mario and Luigi to find the prize they want. I mean, that's pretty cool of them to help out our they heroes by providing them with little relaxing games fun. and useful items at the same time. Thank you for being so awesome, baby Yoshis. Okay, number seven. Here is a shocking truth. Mario and Luigi, well, they don't really swim well. They pretty okay. much try to get up by moving their arms or else they just sink down. But the thing oh, is, yeah. with the help of baby Yoshis, they can swim so much faster. They kind of so glide well, they can, the ocean. They can, they can even they can spin around when they hold a baby Yoshi. The explanation is pretty simple. It's because baby Yoshis swim like mermaids. They got that skill, right? The way their body is shaped, water just go through them and they can swim super fast. Sadly, it's another ability that they lose by growing up. As you can see, this Yoshi, he doesn't swim that well. But I mean, oh, yeah. that's just another proof that baby Yoshis are not weaklings. Number 6. You might not have realized that yet, 
but the Yoshis in Yoshi's story are fighting an enemy named Baby Bowser. So you know baby what that means. Bowser. They are baby Yoshis too. They're not fully grown up Yoshis yet, and they can still manage to complete one of their most intense adventure ever. Going underwater, in the air, inside volcanoes, in dangerous castle, nothing is too dangerous for a well-trained crew of baby Yoshi. This is rather Bowser. impressive that at such a young age they are able to save their happy love tree from that evil kid. And they uh, also yeah. eat a lot of fruits in the game, showing that fruits and veggies are very good and are very important to be healthy. So just pause the video now, go grab an apple or a banana and just come back. Because, you know, those baby Yoshis, they're actually role model. And I think that's pretty cool, don't you yeah. think? Yeah, I guess it is pretty cool. Go, BBQ. So, can you name one thing that is pretty common with all of the babies in the world? What? They cry. A oh, yeah, lot. True. But have you ever seen a baby Yoshi cry? Nope. Me neither. They don't cry. Mostly. These guys are actually yeah. very strong and very mature. They, cry. they never they cry don't if cry they need the something. Time. I mean, they just go get it. Why cry when you're hungry if you can just eat anything? I mean, their tree yeah. is captured and they just go get it back. Simple as that. That's pretty impressive. And I'm glad that they don't cry all the time. You yeah. know, because I know a, a supposed hero that actually did cry all of the time when he was baby a baby. Mario! <laughs> Usually, babies have a very strict diet. They cannot eat anything that they want. They gotta eat baby food, they gotta drink milk, and you know, stuff like that. But baby yeah. Yoshi doesn't care about all of that. As soon as they ashes from eat. an egg, they're ready to eat anything that anything. stands in their path. I mean, they it can be Koopas, anything. it can be fish, it can be a power star, you name it. That's proof that baby Yoshi's digestive system is already fully charged and operational as soon as they're born. And that's another proof that they're not a weakling at all. They don't have to grow old to be able to eat anything they want. This is pretty impressive. And I'm genuinely curious as to how this all works in their stomach and belly. But I, I guess we'll never know ourselves. But you know, yeah. maybe Mario can tell us. <laughs> Now I know how a meatball feels! <laughs> yeah, he knows how a meatball feels! Alright, never... So, Three. as we learned, baby Yoshis are pretty smart, pretty yeah. strong, and they have special powers that they lose once they become an adult. But not all baby Yoshis have the same powers. In Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, at one point, a Yoshi egg hatches and you get to name the Yoshi you find inside. This newborn baby Yoshi has an attitude and he's pretty strong too. He has some special abilities that other babies don't usually have. Like the ability some to ground pound an enemy white and punch. glide a little bit in the That's air. That's cool. That's pretty impressive because usually this kind of powers they get it when they grow up. But some baby oh, yeah. Yoshis have the same abilities as adult Yoshis. And that's another proof that baby Yoshis are far from being weaklings, as they're already able to do pretty much everything that adult Yoshi can do. That's so impressive. I'm pretty proud of you, baby Yoshi. I am too. Alright, number two. One impressive thing about Yoshi is the fact that he cannot really die. Because if you get hit, oh, yeah. Yoshi just starts running everywhere in panic, but you can usually catch up to him, just hop back on, and you can repeat to infinity. Yoshi never dies, he has infinite lives. You'd think this is an ability that he learned growing up, but the thing is, he can't really die as a baby either. Look here, Mario is literally kicking baby Yoshi over and over again, and still, yeah. baby Yoshi doesn't care. He yeah. still smiles. He still bounces up and down, and yeah. that's because baby Yoshi's body is made out of something super strong and super solid. Baby, baby Yoshi, Yoshi doesn't really feel, feel the pain and can just take hits after hits and just come back stronger. This is so impressive yeah. and another proof that even at a young age, baby Yoshi is not a weakling. Alright, number one. What could possibly right, be at here's number one? Fact. You start off your life as a baby, and as time goes by, you grow up and eventually become an adult. I guess that's the same thing with Yoshi, right? 
Well, no, that's wrong. It seems that Yoshis are able to actually transcend time and space and can grow up in a matter of seconds. If a baby Yoshi eats a star or a couple of enemies, well, they just instantly grow up and turn into an adult Yoshi. This Wait, is really? so I weird. I mean, they're able to grow up on demand. That's pretty useful, don't you Whoa. think? I, You're I not tall enough that. to ride this I roller coaster. Did. Well, just grow Whoa. up. That's it. it can well, grow up I mean, the Yoshis are above the notion of aging, of time. They don't need that. This is so impressive. Yoshis are actually one of the most evolved species on planet Earth. And that's just another proof of how smart and powerful they actually are. Baby Yoshis are definitely above all other creatures in the Mushroom Kingdom, and they're totally not weaklings. Thank you so much for watching this brand new episode of the Not A Series. What would you like to see in the next episode? Well, tell me in the comment section down below, and if you want to see more of that, hit that like button, okay? I want to see at least 22 likes for this video, okay? That's what we're aiming at. Alright guys, likes. I'll see you next time. Okay, you know what? I will just like the video. There, I like the video. You guys didn't see it, but if you look at my uh, if you look at my liked videos uh, playlist, it was with that video that I just reacted to. So yeah, and that reminds me, uh, Nico, Nico BBQ uh, said that uh, like like let's see if we can get 22 likes. You know, what? I s right now I should be starting to do like a like way show my videos like. So let me think, how many, how many likes do you think we should get this video? Alright, All right, guys, let's see if we can get three likes on this video. How about that? Three. That would be awesome. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Good.